Tomorrow is my first half marathon. Exciting. I'm running Krokskogen Halmarathon here in Norway and it's going to be epic. And I want to show you guys what I'm going to wear, what I'm going to bring with me, how I'm going to execute the race and talk a little bit about my thoughts the day before the big day. Alright, so my first half marathon, super exciting. Um, I built up to it for a few weeks and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's quite a hilly course, so I'm not like expecting a super epic time or anything. And of course, I'm still just learning about this. It's my first half marathon, it's, it's the longest I've ever run. I'm just learning about this distance, so it's not like I'm going to be competitive or anything like that. But I'm going to see what, what I'm good for at this point in time, and then I'm going to continue my build up afterwards towards my next half marathon, which is a more of a flat course, which I'm going to run for a time. And that's Oslo half marathon in September. But anyway, let's talk a little bit about what I'm going to wear uh, and why. So starting at the head, I will be wearing a cap and probably sunglasses. I'll have them with me uh, anyway because it's going to be sunny. And the temperature is planned to be about 20 degrees Celsius, so that's not too hot. So that's good. Then of course I have my Garmin. Uh, 630 watch which I'm gonna use and I'm going to also uh, use the heart rate monitor a lot of people don't use heart rate monitors when they're racing uh, but this far I'm like I want to learn what my body is doing when I'm running a race so and I like to look at the watch and as a beginner it's nice for me just to have a have an eye on the effort and just know that I'm not going too hard but also to know that I'm going as hard as I should in terms of uh, heart rate. So those two are good th to bring. And by the way, you know, for all the gear I'm showing now, I'll put some affiliate links in the description if you feel like buying it. So be sure to check that out. Um, then I have my shirt. It's just like this craft shirt, uh, white, uh, very lightweight, very thin. Uh, so that'll be good in the in the warm or semi-warm weather. You know, anything above 12, 12 degrees Celsius or something like that is actually pretty warm when it comes to performing in terms of running. Then my shorts, just the Nike shorts there. And then uh, I have a compressed port calf sleeves here. I'll talk about why I use them in another video, but uh, basically it's because I have some varicose veins on my right calf, so I just think that might be helpful. Uh, in gingy toe socks, of course, uh, to help my toes splay out naturally. Inside of the Ultra, the one, 2.5. So a lightweight shoe, zero drop, of course, wide toe box. At this point in time, this is my favorite overall shoe. It's just wide enough to fit my foot, wider than some of the other Ultra models even. Um, and it's a, you know, it's a, it's a gravel road race, so it's not necessary to have trail shoes or anything like that. So uh, these will be good. Now, um, let's say the strategy and talk about hydration stuff at the very end and fuel. And just mention that over here, this is what I'm gonna put on and this is what I'm gonna run in. But I'm of course also bringing, you know, a pair of pants and a sweater just to pull over that before and possibly after the race, depending on how I feel. I also have my camera, my photo camera, and my GoPro, which is filming right now. I'm gonna get some footage from the race. Money, card, whatever, driver's license. Phone. And then I have a bag where I bring some water to drink afterwards if I need to. I have a few dates, five dates, just to, you know, I'll have breakfast in the morning at around 10 and then the, the race is at one o'clock. So um, I might need to just top up a little bit on calories or something like that around, you know, 12, 12.30 or something. And that's why I bring the dates just in case. And then this bag I'm gonna fill with bananas, uh, probably like, I don't know, 10, 10 12 bananas to eat uh, right after the race. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, for what I'm bringing, going there with my uh, brother and my dad. So they're coming along to cheer me on and to uh, to watch. 
Anyway, let's talk a little bit about fuel and hydration. So, there are eight stations, six eight stations actually, along the course. That's a lot for a 21k race. And uh, I'm, so I'm not going to carry my own water. There's no need to do that if there's eight stations. So what I'm thinking is that, you know, we'll, I'll probably be sweating. I've been testing my sweat rate a lot lately, weighing myself before and after runs. You know, it's probably around like in, in tomorrow's uh, temperature and intensity. I'm, I'm thinking I might sweat as much as a liter per, per hour. So, and I'm gonna, my time goals, well, let's mention quickly before I talk about the hydration. Time goals. It's my first half marathon. There's a lot of hills, a lot of up and down, uh, 400 meters of elevation. So it's not gonna be super fast. I'm satisfied as long as I'm under one hour, 50 minutes. I'm satisfied. If I see one hour and 30 minutes, then I'm gonna be shocked. That's gonna be like, whoa, that's fast on a course like that. If I was on a completely flat course, I think I would be able to do, to pull off, you know, one and a half hour, one night or 30. But uh, on a course like this, I don't think so. So uh, probably I'm hoping to do something like 140, one hour, 40 minutes, maybe 145. Can, can I do 135? Maybe, I don't know. Uh, so for about one and a half, one hour, 40 minutes, I'll be out there. Um, and uh, I'll be, that means I'll, I'll need to drink, you know, what is it? one and a half liter or something uh, to cover my hydration losses but you know I don't really have to cover all the losses it's such a short race but I certainly do need to drink a little bit during the run and because of my stomach ability to absorb uh, water is probably around six seven eight hundred milliliters per hour I'll be drinking something like a liter or maybe 1.2 liters throughout the race which pretty much equates to about 200 milliliters at each of the aid stations so I'll just come into the aid stations and grab a glass of water, down, you know, 150 to 200 milliliters of water, and move on. I'll, I'll do it on the run while, while I'm running. In terms of fuel, rather than relying on the sports drink there, which might not be something I'm used to, I've mixed up my own sports drink here, which is basically what I typically do. Uh, I've got this little Salomon soft flask, 150 milliliters. It's like super, super duper nice. And I'm just, I've just filled it with, um, 90 grams of sugar per just sucrose and um, and water 40 uh, no 60 grams of water so that's it just sugar and water and I have a little salt in there too, a little bit of salt because I'm gonna lose a little bit of salt in my sweat so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it in my pocket on my shorts and when I approach an aid station I'm just gonna squeeze in about you know like 15% or whatever of this uh, this thing uh, and then I'm gonna have uh, the water and then I'm gonna move on so it's, it's gonna be pretty easy just like squeeze sit move on uh, I'm thinking four seconds you know at the eight stations or something like that but anyway I'm I, you know I'm super duper specific and I love being super scientific about it whereas you know the reality is that I'm, as I said I'm not gonna be competing or anything like that in this race but I like to do it properly and I like to really do my best, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm super excited uh, and a little nervous, but you know, I'm excited to just try racing again. It's my third ever race, really. And so I'm pretty new to the whole racing thing and I'm really excited to just do all the planning and, and think about the, you know, hydration and fluid losses and how much to eat and drink and trying out this new soft flask, which I've never tried before with this concentrated uh, sugar water and yeah it's just it's just gonna be so cool so pretty much I'm ready to go I just need a you know a good dinner a good night's sleep and then wake up tomorrow have breakfast and then go so uh, it's about an hour drive from here so for the rest of the day now I'm gonna try to just relax and when I go to bed I'm gonna try to avoid thinking about the race too much because then I'm gonna end up just not sleeping very well let me know in the comments if you're doing any races, if you just did, or if you're going to do any, or what you think about racing, what you think about my plans for the race. Wish me good luck. By the time you're watching this, of course, I'm already done, and you probably heard how it went, even if you follow me on, you know, on Strava or Instagram. And if you don't, there's links to my Strava profile, my Instagram profile, and my Facebook uh, page for this uh, channel, etc., in the description. So be sure to follow me on all those social media platforms. Subscribe, of course, to this channel, 
and, and stay tuned for uh, the next video which will probably be my race recap. Thanks for watching, see you around.